Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Retro Gamer Joe here. Um, when I did a video, like I said, I went online and uh, I bought a, um, a motorcycle helmet and I paid uh, 41.99 for it. Now, ever since I was young and stuff like that, I've always wanted a motorbike bike because I'll, uh, I'm looking forward in this and stuff like that. I'm looking forward in getting my license because this is going to be the first time ever in my entire life I've ever wanted to get a motorbike. You know, like even though I've, I've I've ridden one before in the past. Now, I did go. I did sort of, like I say, I did go into town and I took the form and went to the post office and I went to ask as much information as possible. You know, to sort of like in a way to move forward so I can get one. Now I got the form and I said I got it filled in and um, and then I got a postal order and then uh, I posted it today. Now, cross fingers, cross fingers, it's going to be sort of like, in a way, I'm going to get good news, in a way, where it's going to come through a post. And then, that's it. Then I get off out there and uh, uh, go and get myself a motorbike. And um, and I found a place, another PlayStation 4 uh, console. Um, it's a 500 gig. Uh, but because the one I've got, I've got living room is a terabyte one, because I'm just watching YouTube at the moment. And this one here, I picked up as a 500, this one. You can correct me, I think it's a slim. You know what I mean? You can correct me by a comment down below if uh, uh, if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. Uh, this, um, you get the wires. Although everything's all together, I'm not trying to get, like I said, everything wires and everything's on an elastic band, you know, like the, the mains and the... Uh, the pad the pad comes on because look the light flashes so the pad the pad must work. Paid for all this uh, hundred pound cash. What I'll probably do is I'll probably take uh, the rubber thing off and put onto my controller. Or what I might do is I might put my controller with this console, right? This console and keep this controller a a better one. So I've got a better one. To teach you, I don't know why people sometimes. I just teach you, I don't know why people uh, sometimes sell these consoles so cheap. You know, you. I mean, you can pick them up. You can pick them up now for peanuts. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of shops do want like one hundred and seventy-five or one hundred and fifty pound for them second hand. But like I said, some of these people in the shops don't have a clue, don't have an idea, any idea at all what they're worth really. Because if you think about it, when you look on the on CEX site or any cash converters or cash generators or anything like that, when you look on their sites, like I said, there'll be different prices. Uh, there'll, there'll be different um, packages. There'll be tons of sport games with them and stuff. You know what I mean? Like me, I'm not into sport games. But say like with this here, this console here, right? If cash converters or anything or CEX or anything was selling this, I mean, I think that they'd be about £170 pound, uh, for this. On its, on its own. But if you go to, like, say, a different game shop and stuff like that, a second-hand shop, you might get this with a lot of sport games like FIFA 11, 12, 13, up to number 20. You'll get quite a lot of them games with it. And the thing is, you know, not a lot of people want sport games. Because I said, we're all different. We're going to have different opinions about video games. And you know for a fact we do. You know what I mean? But uh, um, but when you sort of like, in a way, collect these. Because I got this for the bedroom. Because I had one in there a long time ago. And one of the videos, I had a, um, I think I had a red... Uh, a, uh, I had a, a, a PS4. But I, with a, I think with a red controller. Well, that went, you see. Because somebody wanted it. So I decided to let it go. And then I saw this in a sh second hand shop. Uh, originally it was under 40 quid. So we're, um, it, instead I just said we take 100 for it. And yeah, so they took it. And I've still got my Super Nintendo down there and I've got my Pac Man. This is my Pac Man game thing where uh, I pay £25 for. This one, it's got like quite a lot of games uh, on it if you can see them. I do apologise if you can't. You you plug it up to your TV, and uh, um, just get all them games. Twelve games. Very very collectors. I say I've still got my uh, still got my Super Nintendo, like I just said, and uh, I bought that online. I bought this online, uh, uh, like an adapter. So it's a um, it's a Super Game Boy, you know, like I think, and then you get like little Game Boy games. These you get about sixty games on them for about fifteen quid. And then you just put it on there. And then when you put it on your telly over there, you've got a load of Game Boy. 
uh, Game Boy games on there. So what's the point of spending, like, say, money on Super Mario Land, right? Say, like, wh whatever price it is, when you can just get a cartridge like this, like that, and I got Star Fox. Th that and Star Fox, off one buyer on eBay, cost me £16, right? That's the one I was talking to about on uh, on one of my videos when I was talking about... Um, when you can actually get ripped off on eBay if you're not if you're not care if you're not careful on what you're doing, and then I bought this separately on its own. Sorry, there, and I bought that on its own separately. Sorry, I do apologise. That, and it's got a uh, so it's yes, yeah, sixty-one games, sixty-one games in one. It's got Castlevanias and stuff on it, so I love them. I mean, you could pick up tons of stuff. I mean, the thing is, there's tons and tons of stuff out there, bargains and all sorts and all. I mean, people are like past, are walking past these sort of things. You know what I mean? Like, say, like, say, like, if you're going to town or anything like that, people might think, "Well, I'm not interested because I've already got one." But the thing is, a hundred pound for this, right? Is worth it, and it's a bargain. You know what I mean? And no one's even been inside the seal and everything. Say, look. Everything's there. Look, seal. It's not even bust. I gave it a clean today because it was a bit dusty. But like I said, it would have been better. It would have been better if it was a terabyte one. You know what I mean? Just like the one I've got in the living room. But like I say, beggars can't be tuned to this. But anyway, uh, I know everybody likes video games and they play on the PS5s and PS4s and Xbox Ones and Series Xs and all this, etc, etc. But uh, we all know we love video games, don't we? And we all are different in a way where some people have... Uh, certain games and some people don't you know what I mean so if you see any like, bargains where you live and stuff like that when you walk around the shops and everything and you know it doesn't matter if you're in England or if you're in America or which country you're living because you can go to like Walmart in, is it Walmart or Walmart and you can go to them places in, in America and you can buy all sorts of things like say PS4s PS5s and you can trade stuff in there I mean I have watched a few videos on YouTube uh, about the, the game store you know with people bringing them up and you can also buy these sort of things in in england you know in, in our country you know what i mean in uh, uh, in second shop but always always be careful they always say always be careful like i says when you've got your eye on something the last thing you want to do is get ripped off by anybody especially if it's uh, uh, if you haven't got any knowledge if you've got no knowledge at all about game consoles i mean like i have but if you haven't i, I do apologize but always keep on your toes and like i say if you do see one of these or if you see an xbox one s you know, or a PS5 and it's quite cheap, then yeah, grab it. But if you see something that's not quite right, uh, like say, something a little bit funny about it, best option is leave it and then move on to something else. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos and uh, uh, click the like button. Every every uh, um, every like helps. Subscribe, subscribe to me as well. I do apologise. Subscribe to me as well. You know what I mean? More people subscribe to me. And like I says, it's more the merrier in at the end of the day, you're doing a good job, you know what I mean, if you do this, if you subscribe to me, it'd be fantastic, you know what I mean, I subscribe for the people, so, uh, and they're fantastic too, anyway, until next time, uh, take care of yourselves, and uh, goodbye.